the fam. How bad is Smash Ultimate's GSP system? I reacted to this video for a while, and then I forgot to press record, so I'm kind of pissed. But that's besides the point. Let's check it out. Ah, the Smash Bros. Ultimate GSP system. We know it, we probably all hate it, and we all come across someone who got into Elite Smash, which is supposed to be the top 5% of all online players, who has a rule set that looks like this, and then proceeds to teabag you after hitting you with one of these. Yeah, 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 teabagging is fairly common. If you don't already know, GSP stands for Global Smash Power and is Smash Bros. Ultimate's online ranking system. However, if you played online for any longer than even one match, you'll probably- Man, he's got a lot- If that's his, uh, capture card, he's got a lot more characters in Elite Smash than me, bros. You'll probably see that this is one of the worst ranking systems in Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I actually like the ranking system, but I haven't played Smash 4. The point he's making is that Smash 4's ranking system is better online history and as someone who's played a combined 10,000 quick play in elite smash battles yeah, bro. i've experienced much pain from this system today i want to go deeper into why this flawed system really doesn't work in terms of how it inaccurately ranks your skill level how unbalanced the loss to win ratio is and even how smash ultimates right up spite is but bro like online system fell short of its predecessors smash 4. that was a nice kill right there if we want to get into why the GSP system fails to rank a player's actual skill level, we need to understand how GSP works in the first place. When you go into the online matchmaking system, Quick Play, you'll see a number assigned to each character in the game. This is the amount of GSP a character has, obviously. Before patch 9.0, this number represented how many people had less GSP than you. For example, if you had 4 million GSP with Bowser, you had more GSP than 3,999,999 people. However, after this patch, GSP no longer had this representation and just turned into an arbitrary number that helps in the matchmaking process. Nothing more, nothing less. The reason that this is a problem for- Dude, I totally thought it was the first one, bro. So that's why uh there's one match i played and after we had the same exact gsp both of us guys so i did not know that though want to get better at the game and increase their skill is because this applies to every single person online <laughs> that's quite a huge crowd man including people who have casual rule sets that use things like final smash items and banned stages in the competitive scene hey those are pretty fun uh occasionally online they also know it. You know how we all rage when we lose here, guys. This lack of separation between those who want to have fun playing free-for-alls on Palutena's temple with nothing but assist trophies, and those who want to grind the game seriously in a competitive rule set. As all those CPUs are just bundled up at that one spot for some reason. To get better at it, it's a dramatic overstep in my opinion. This can result in someone getting Elite Smash purely off of item usage, which again, Nintendo says is the top 5% of online players, and people taking the game- Top 5%, that's not bad, not bad. ...game seriously. But yeah, guys, I think, uh, it's hard to get there for me, man. Not gonna lie. I only have three characters. ...to be down in the depths of GSP. I wouldn't be so hard on Nintendo for this lack of separation. I have a few characters at 3 million, guys. I'm supposed to get it to, like, 12.3. To even uh, be qualified to be an elite. They had separated the people who wanted to have fun and the people who wanted to get better all the way back in Smash 4, which I'll talk about later in this video. Of course, this wouldn't make Smash Bros. Ultimate's online system perfect by any means, but I wholeheartedly believe that it would make it so much better than it already is. Another main problem with the GSP system is how unbalanced the loss to win ratio is. Essentially, losing more GSP when you lose a match than gaining GSP when you win a match. For example, I played a match with Samus at the current GSP she's at, which is 2.7 million. When I won the match, I only gained around 65,000 GSP, but when I lost the next match, I lost over 138,000 GSP, essentially rendering my first win as less than useless. Having to win three games to make up for only one loss is an extremely I thought it scales out how high their GSP is guys like the higher that it is the more you lose or gain i don't know exactly guys but yeah i, I felt bs like that before as well and i don't know why discouraging and frustrating thing to realize when trying to get elite smash or even just to rank up in general this makes playing quick play not only incredibly frustrating but can also dishearten players from even wanting to play on it and honestly i don't blame them this next point isn't really something that pertains directly to the loss to win ratio segment of this video but i feel that this is something Thing that at least relates to it and is also really frustrating that being that opponents can disconnect from a match at any time leading you to not gain any gsp whatsoever Dude, that's so annoying man it happens so often i only did it like one or two times because i was super super pissed off but they still lose the points however i don't gain the points 
This is also really frustrating, especially when an opponent disconnects near the end of the match when they see that you have a guaranteed win and that there's no way for them to come back from it. It sucks. I know, right? And then they put you in the the game with a CPU that, uh... <laughs> you don't even gain the GSP off, so you... And you, you're... Sometimes, the uh, Sometimes they don't even disconnect, so if you, like, sell dead or, or whatever because you don't want to fight the CPU, you lose your GSP. Comparing both Smash 4's online system and Smash Ultimate's online system, it's astonishing how different they function in terms of play experience. On one hand, you have an online experience that focuses on players who want to get better at the game, allows multiple rematches with people even when switching characters, and has that separation of people who want to get better, by restricting the rule set to something relatively competitive and people who want to have fun. On the other hand, you have an online system that doesn't accomplish any of that in a reliable way, especially- I think it does, man being able to switch characters when rematching someone i hate that yeah that, that kind of sucks though they're not gonna lie if they had like a best at two out of three and you could uh select the stage um and change characters and also you know they had the i think the elo is the right decision though hands down Smash 4's online system isn't perfect by any means either, and Smash Ultimate does have it beat in some areas, such as putting you up against people at a similar skill level, whereas Smash 4 can put a toddler against Void and Nintendo sees no problem with that. <laughs> but in my opinion, I feel that it accomplishes something important that Smash Ultimate's GSP system just doesn't, and that's a reliable way to experience and practice those competitive matches that can help improve your skill. Of course, there's a major elephant in the room, and that being Wi-Fi connection. There's always going to be the connection issues on both sides, but that's more a problem with the user's Wi-Fi. Yeah, I play more on Wi-Fi than LAN because I just like playing in held handheld mode, guys. And Nintendo's server problems than a flawed game mechanic. However, Nintendo really does need to upgrade the Smash Bros. servers. I don't pay twenty dollars a year because I want to play PowerPoint Simulator. <laughs> guys, hopefully, uh, you know the next iteration of Nintendo Switch when they make it, we'll have better Wi-Fi capabilities. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Just know that this video- Maybe one day Wi-Fi will be eradicated for something better, right guys? That'd be cool. ...is my opinion, but if you have any valid points of critique on why you think Smash Bros. Ultimate's GSP system isn't uh, totally dog water and trash, then feel free to comment on it down below. If you learned something new in this video, or just enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. That's cool. Uh, check out sub subtitled in the description. Wonder what was Sakurai thinking? There is absolutely nothing wrong with for fun and for glory, so admitting them ultimate was a wor worse sin. I, I like I like the way it is now, guys.